go there and finally get my vehicle checked out. So they had a courtesy shuttle and they gave me a ride back to my place and I had to wait all day. He said it was going to be lunchtime before they could get around to it and give me a, a diagnosis result. So it was way past that time. It was about 5 o'clock before they called me. And then they said they had just looked at the top of the uh, the motor and they still didn't know what was wrong. So they were going to have to go in depth, go deeper inside the motor to see what the problem might be and that was going to be close to $600 and I was like oh my god are you serious and then with tax and labor oh my god it was over 800 and some dollars I said oh my god look that's a thousand dollars that's a thousand dollars that's almost a down payment on another car I said, oh my God. I said, now I just cannot do this. Give you a thousand dollars or eight hundred, ain't that a thousand? Round it off to the nearest ten, ain't that a thousand? I'm gonna give you a thousand dollars and you just gonna look at the car and you just gonna try to see what might be wrong with it. That ain't even making good sense at all. And at first, when it was six hundred dollars, I was like, ooh, I was kind of reluctant. I did not want to do it. But then when they added tax and it was over eight hundred dollars looking right at a thousand easy. I said, Oh, this is this is this is not good judgment right here. I can't do this. I'm gonna have to wait a while and maybe get a second opinion. And he told me if it was something in the motor, like the timing. It might be a thousand between a thousand and maybe two or three thousand, something like that. I said, Oh my god, oh my god. And then he said, If it's the whole motor, it could be between two thousand and four, five, six, seven thousand. Man, I oh. <laughs> I didn't hear nothing else after he said that. I ain't hear nothing else. Say less, man. Say less. Because you heard me real bad with all of this. Ooh, you heard me so bad with all of this. So, in other words, I, the bus driver that sold me the, this vehicle, he didn't sell me a lemon. He sold me a lime. And he's a black man that's supposed to be my friend. And I'm pretty sure he feel good about that. And then he 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 felt bad because I call him a garbage a garbage bitch. You are a garbage bitch when you do a female like that. Another black a black female and you a black man. And you doing me man? Come on now, come on now. And he trying to make me feel bad because I called him and referred to him as a a garbage bitch. You are a garbage bitch. You don't took advantage of me like that. Forgive me, love for cussing. <laughs> But they say support black business and look at look at look at what keep, what look at what keep happening to me when I keep on supporting these ooh my god my god and he knew that I'm struggling trying to get on my feet I'm trying to progress my life he trying to make it worse <laughs> he trying to make it worse with a smile on his face and want who want to talk me out of my penis and find a way to and figure out a way a predator another predator to stick his penis in my mouth huh, and he's a married predator at that huh. and don't want me getting mad at me for calling him and referring to him as a garbage bitch you are a garbage bitch and matter of fact you are super garbage bitch forgive me lord for cussing huh. and here i am done paid him three thousand dollars and them people telling me it's gonna be a thousand dollars to over four five six seven thousand dollars to get it fixed maybe man that ain't, that's more than the car then then i paid for the car and then on top of that 
he ain't paid for the bus driver. He ain't paid for eighteen hundred dollars for the car. I saw that on the bill of sale. He didn't want me to give. He didn't want to give me the bill of sale. But I kept pushing and pressing for him to give me a bill of sale and the title. And so when he gave me the bill of sale, it was on the paper. He paid eighteen hundred dollars for this vehicle, and he done made twelve hundred dollars on top of the eighteen. But that's my friend. I understand you want to make a profit, but 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 you see, I'm already struggling. Why would you try to take advantage of me like this? And I'm I'm I know I have a choice, either to pay the money or not, or go on to somewhere else and 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 do business with somebody else. But I'm trying to do business with you because I'm thinking you're gonna do me halfway right. And I didn't, I didn't even get nobody to check the vehicle. That was another stupid thing that I did. I spoke, but you know, I'm thinking this is my friend, and he already done checked the vehicle out. I can trust him. Wrong, <laughs> wrong, wrong, wrong. And then he telling me, oh, we don't get no vehicles because he he get the vehicles from the auction. And then he resell them, like a lot of people do. He said, me and my partners, we don't get no vehicles that already got a light, the engine light, check engine light. The check, while he running his mouth and running that scam, the check engine looking at me saying, hey, how you doing? And I'm like, really? But he trying to make me think, oh, the check engine light ain't no big deal. See, he was taking advantage of me because he knew I had come from homelessness and I have been riding the bus and... I don't have no strong, solid men behind me as it relates to my brother and uncles and dad. And a lot of these men, especially black men, let's be honest about this, they take advantage of these single black women because they know they ain't got to face no consequences and getting bust upside their head by the dad, by the uncle, by the dad, brothers and so on and so forth, the husbands and all of that. Yeah, they look at us like we weak and vulnerable and in a lot of cases that may be true but see if i can't bust your head with my fist i can bust your head with that piece of paper down at the courthouse and see if i really want to press the issue even though it might be past the the time when i can enforce the lemon law maybe maybe not i could you know even though i bought the vehicle as is i probably still could take them to the court I probably still could do it. And I probably should do it. Because this is wrong. And I'm so sick and tired of having other black male, males. I ain't going to call them no men. Black males take advantage of me like this. I'm, I'm real. I, I, come on now. I, I, I mean, this money, I have to work hard to get this money. And I don't appreciate. It's a lot of things that I could have did with three thousand dollars now. It's a look, look. They got another hood rat walking around with these leggings and this big nasty booty and this puss, and they think they got it going on. See, they validated by the by big nasty sloppy booty and a puss print. They validated by that and walking around throwing it all over the place because she wants some attention. She wants some attention. They don't care if it's a woman or a man. Because they, they going both ways all the time. In a lot of cases, they come into the park because they want attention. And she see these men out here working. They want attention. If it wasn't no men out here working and, and coming to the park, they wouldn't be thinking about coming to the park. But they pretend like they just want to exercise and listen to their music. Bullshit. They trying to use that as a, as a prop. That's a prop. They got another plot in mind. They want to come out here and, and, and get hooked up. Get hooked up and ain't going to go nowhere in life with the hookup. This just an endless cycle of garbage. Energy. And, and being recycled again. And, ooh, I'm so sick of it. I'm so sick of it. One generation to the next. Can we be honest about what's going on out here? Can we be honest about it? And they're not even sexy. I would I would almost give them a pass if it, if it was sexy. It looks offensive. It looks real sloppy and gross. And it, oh, oh, I'm so sick and tired of these leggings and these hair bunnies and these ragged long nasty looking wigs on these heads of these hood rats. I'm so sick of this mess. I mean, come on now. 
it's it's no class. It's no class. It's classless. Ooh, but when I say that out loud, you tan down your own people. That ain't my people. But the rest are not my people. First of all, oh, you tan down women. We need to be holding each other up and supporting each other. I ain't gonna support no hood rat. I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna hold up no hood rat. I'm not gonna be bullied into submission of that energy. I'm not gonna do it. I opt out. Okay, and I got a right to opt out, and I am not going to accept that hood red energy into my life. <clears throat> Ooh, and it, it, it's it's enough that it's incorporating the whole community, the whole city. Hood red energy, hood red energy. It's all over the internet. Hood red energy. I'm sick of it. I can't speak for nobody else. But I'm sick of this hood red energy. And so many people like the shade room, they promote it. They promote it. Hood red energy. Whew. We've been talking a long time, haven't we? Almost two hours and 30 some minutes. I did not mean to talk on this subject matter, 